Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. Time for us to deal with the Kaelid Catacombs dungeon. This is, I can't, probably can't pinpoint it precisely, but it's like about here-ish. Um, you'll see as we go there, it's pretty easy to find. So we're starting out from Impassable Great Bridge, as I said we would at the end of the last episode. Once we've dealt with it, we're probably going to go ahead and clear out some world bosses from the Dragon Barrow area. They're probably technically a little bit high level, but we should be pretty much in good stead to deal with most of them. I decided we're going to do all of the bell-bearing hunters in one episode, particularly as we basically have access to them all now. Um, or at least we will have at that point anyway. So in any case, we're just going to head on straight over this way. And uh, by the time we've done all of the content that I think we can do, we should end up with 60 intelligence before we're done. It's probably not a good idea, so I'm making myself laugh, laugh a little bit as we do it. Uh, this is just going to drop a, uh, a sombering stone. And I just don't want to deal with the bird, so I'm going to run straight past it. Um, so yeah, we should, so it's probably not going to be the best idea. Radar does tons of damage, we probably should invest more in um, staying alive. But I really like the idea of using maybe one of the moon spells on him. Although I don't know if we'll have the intelligence. I think you need 70 for to actually use... Um, we're not a great moon, so it could be a little bit under. Uh, in any case, you can see we're inside. Careful of the rot. Same rules apply as usual. Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, this is one where there's a few um, false walls. Not really too much else that we need to worry about, really. Oh, the skeletons in here. I don't remember there being skeletons in here. That's like a bandit's curse sword. Huh. Oh no, it's a gross messer. Oh, gross messer drops in here. I didn't realise it dropped in here. I was convinced that it only came in one cave. Interesting. This is not. This isn't a better place to farm it, though, so it's fine. I, I feel like I'm still justified in where I told everyone to get it from. <coughs> so, or should I say suggested? I don't tell anybody anything. Let's do this. I don't think we had that many skeletons in here. In any case, down here. Wall. Go to this for it. Inflicts rot if you can. Nice new set of ashes. Ah, oh, I'm gonna get infected anyway. Let's just run through. Uh, there's a glove wart behind this. We're not gonna stand here fighting it though, so we're just gonna leave that. Got more rot down on the ground here. Sometimes this opens itself, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. It's real weird. There's a false wall that's gonna give you the opening for the boss. And then it's one of the nasty shade things in here, so we need to be make sure we don't get grabbed. Pop some of this. We're gonna walk in. Tell Lutl to rope and get out here. Drop some feet. Get out of the way of that. Quickly. Oh, that was like perfect timing. Lutl really punished you there, though. <laughs> That's what you get. Lutl is just so good. He took took that one right down. This is like kind of, I suppose, a bit of a glass cannon boss, but yeah. Well, that took no time at all. <clears throat> Did it. Kale Catacombs done. Uh, so that is like all all of Lower Kale done. We've done the Deathbird with the Night Cavalry. We've done the Invasion. We've done Gower Shack. Yes, 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 and yes. All done. We love it. So, we've already been up here before. Farum Great Bridge is next. You'll notice that I haven't given anything to Garank yet. Uh, once we've got all of the Death Root, we'll, we'll handle that in and, and get him to do what he's going to do. So, we're going to have a fight here. Um, we'll see how it goes. This is probably the more difficult of all of the fights, just because of where we, how we're kind of pigeoned into the bridge. Um, because the rest of them should have plenty of space to fight, so this should not be too much of an issue, really. Yeah, get in the face, yes! Now, this can probably one-shot me, if I'm not careful. 
All that damage went on the horse there, though. Can I have the crit, please? Thank you. That's what I've got this weapon for, after all. Let's get out of the way. Let's pop some of that. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want that on me. Thank you. As I was saying, that's, that's the main danger here, is that. It's got a good uh, lot of wind-up on its attacks, though. Come on, then. Come here. I'm going to go under you this time. See if we can avoid your flames. Yeah, we definitely want to get under there this time. Quick, quick, quick. Lucio's still alive. I'm quite impressed, actually. Come on, Lucio, throw your spear. That'll be good timing for this right now. Come on. Yeah, it's over. There we are. 20,000 souls. The runes, even. Plus the extra percentage from the Golden Scarab. Oh, yes. That's a nice chunk. In my opinion. Uh, we probably should... Reset the grace. We're going to fight fight another boss pretty much straight after. So we're going to spend those runes. There's no point in taking a risk with them. Plus, obviously, putting extra intelligence is going to make us kill it a little faster, I would have thought. So, back across the bridge. It's really going to take no time for us at all. Then the next boss is going to be over at the uh, golden tree over there. It's going to drop us a few goodies as well. But mostly after the runes. Opaline hard tier. Oh, the Opaline hard tier. This is uh, this is one that I thought we got earlier, but we didn't. This one should give us the uh, the thirty percent damage reduction. But I, really, I don't know if it's going to work very well on this character. <clears throat> it never seems to make that big of a difference to me. Uh, this is going to be one of the ones that drops like big splashes of rot everywhere. So let's just make sure we are cautious about um, dealing with it. And I suppose while we're here, we could get the um, solution to the painting that's in thingy. In Celia. Even though it's really not very good. And there's a bit of a uh, nasty enemy down there. And I don't know why it's so nasty, because it doesn't drop anything good. I'll show you. I'm not going to fight it just because it is literally a pain in the ass and it doesn't give you anything good. Yeah. Lutal has still kind of got plenty of health left. I don't know how you aren't stunned. I need to not get hit by these. Uh, how are you doing your thing? Good. It's fine by me at this range. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> okay, then round two. I've been humbled. Let's, uh... Am I, am I staffed up? I am. Good. Getting damage in is more important than maybe collecting my runes. I'll get this. Come on. Come on. Attack Lutal. I need to respect the range on that splash of yours, don't I? It is an absurd splash. Come on, Luton. Do something. Yeah, give it a poke. There we go. Your job is decoy, after all. Yeah, there we go. Get some free damage in there. We'll be needing that. We're going to take an FP flask while I'm waiting for Luton to attract his attention again. Oh, here we go. This again. Oh, Lutal's taking some real damage. No, no, no. I kind of need him alive. We still want some uh, distraction out of it, really. Don't we? Hey, hey. Don't want to go too far down there, otherwise we're going to start aggroing some of your friends. Come on, Lutal. Avoid some damage. That's one of your, like, main good tricks. 
One more volley should be doing. There we go. Boom. Real good. Okay, uh, with that done then, so done you, you, we should go over to, no, I don't want to, do we want to take that? Yeah, let's let's go clear the merchant from the other side. We're not going to deal with the bell bearing dude, we're going to do that in, in its own episode, but let's just go and grab the grace so that we've got it. And then we'll make our way, it's just because <laughs> this episode is really short, we could do the dragon bait carrot. Dragon Barrow Cave instead, actually. I think that's that's I think that's smoother. Let's do that. So let's come here. We're going to spend a little runage. Let's get these two hot handled runes gone. Then we're going to head under this way. For Dragon Barrow Cave. I've just realised we missed Ashen Fall as well. It's kind of well hidden up at the top. We'll see how long this takes. I can always go and get it on a cleanup. It's not really important. Going in here for the next bit. Um, quite a good, um, quite a good talisman in here. If you are playing big heavy armor, increases your poise. Quite good on big strength builds. It was really helpful for me. Uh, so we got everything there. We're gonna put this on. <clears throat> in the first rune, there's a big rune bear, and uh, I just don't ever find them worth fighting. Now, we do want to go that way. That's the annoying thing. And I feel like, generally speaking, the best thing to do in here is to clear out straight ahead, because that's where the bull goat's talisman is. And then, when you actually want to do the boss of this area, which is one of the serrated tree spirits, it's just going to be a drop-off down here, so we could fight it. Or we could just get past it. I don't think it follows us. I don't think it can follow all the way into the cave, so I'm just gonna go straight past it. Right, it could be a few extra runes if you wanted. But there's the Bulgur's Talisman, real good. Didn't even oh no, I can't actually fast travel that, that's funny. Not funny, I should say. Well like I say. There's just no need in attacking it. Um, so instead of the drop-offs, I think it's this way. No, it's clearly a bit further on and it's a left. Oh, it is only the drop-off. <laughs> yeah, we're going to come over here. We're not going to fight the, fight the bear. It's just silly. So we've got the most important tals talisman out of this bit anyway now. Just let it do its thing, it's going to walk off. I'm going to do the drop-offs over here. It slipped off that bit there, Crystal Cave was. It's quite a nice place for it actually when I think about it. It's turned off now, isn't it? Wow, you have a lot of health. That one is like mega. I love how we kill all of its friends like with just a single and that one's like just absorbing them. It's like, yes, fe feed me rocks, feed me. But there's one left, where is it? It's back on. You. Let's get drop off so we don't do that yet. I, th I think, if I remember right, it all links together anyway. Wow, they dropped a lot of runes just for a few wolves. That's like 10k. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. I knew there was another one. I knew I'd seen another one. Get off. I knew it. <laughs> Went and hid. Uh, 
Oh, that's right, so back up to the desert. Right, that's fine. I guess it's so that you can't just cheese the wolves. Let's do the next drop off. I can't remember if this puts you straight in the boss room or not. Just in case. Oh, this is the boss room. <laughs> I don't think there's no straight tree spit. I don't even know. It's fine, little zap. Oh. I mean, that doesn't mean auto win right now, but. He will attract some attention any moment now. <laughs> right. Let's kill one. Downeth you go. These will be like normal enemies later on, so... Just bear that in mind. Wow, oh, you're way tougher. Just gonna drown you in stone. <laughs> Little can finish you now if you want it. Just don't be stupid and we win. Take a sip. I didn't get my uh, thingy off. Physic. You are way tougher. Why are you so much tougher? The end. Seventy-eight k for that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad we did that. Okay, so back inside the cave. Um, we'll just go back down to the grace. Use the runes we got for some leveling. It's probably only going to be one level now, isn't it? Yeah. Close to a second there. That's pretty good. Bumping them numbers up. I just really want to use a better staff. Um, I'm not sure if it'll actually end up being better for Rock Sling. The rest of our spells, definitely. So we'll have to test it. So, an extra point for us. 56. Four levels away. That should be doable, actually. Pretty, pretty slick. Pretty slick. So, uh, next episode, we'll uh, work our way around. We're going to get to here. We're going to well, there's no working around. We'll get to here. We'll show farming this. We'll do Hughes Everjail. We'll tag you. And I guess maybe we'll do these, because there's no dungeons left. Just a bit of overworld stuff. We need to get your bell bearing anyway. That's going to be a merchant over there. And then... So yeah, we want the bell bearing. Hughes Ashes. Deal with the NPCs. Farm the dragon. Could even be a fairly short episode. Then after that we'll do the four bell bearing hunters. And uh, whatever state we're in we'll be doing Radon. Hopefully I haven't completely stuffed myself. Radon is quite tough and does a lot of damage. But we'll see you soon.